Hi, welcome everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at a very blustery uh, Lidham Golf Academy today. And I've got an iron head-to-head uh, -head for you here with the new Mizuno JPX919 forged iron. And I'm going to put it up against the Titleist 718AP2 iron. So two forged irons here, two cavity-backed irons here, which given that sort of player's look, but that bit of forgiveness sort of um, under the bonnet in a way. And both seven irons, lots are slightly different here. So the Mizuno is 32 degrees, uh, Titleist is 34 degrees. So a little bit of a, a loft change here, but I'm gonna put these up against each other. See in terms of what happens with ball, uh, speed, spin, distance, accuracy, and a little bit of feedback from me as the looks and the feel of these clubs. So just before we jump into the video, if you're enjoying the videos that I'm producing, then please consider subscribing. The logo in the bottom right hand screen there, MNG, hit that, hit the uh, bell icon so you get notifications any future videos, and that way you will not miss a video that lands on my channel. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Titleist AP2 iron. So obviously a very popular iron from Titleist here, AP2. We've got the forged head, we've got tungsten here, so it's providing some forgiveness here, but in a very sort of um, compact sort of look. So that sort of player's look, tour-inspired sort of look. But as I say, it's got that bit of uh, forgiveness behind it here. So I've got these specced up pretty similar um, irons here, so they're both X flex, they're both a couple of degrees upright, both half inch longer, which is a little bit more suited to me. So we're going to hit about shots with each. I'm going to start with AP2. Okay, so nice opening shot there. I sort of expect a sort of high ball flight. Uh, with these clubs. I've set myself out at 180 yards from the green there. That's just carry 165 there. Cut that a little bit heavy there, but nothing major. 165. So as we'll probably know with these clubs, they're not distance finding golf clubs here. The lofts are obviously more of a traditional end of the scale as opposed to more game improvement, which we tend to see obviously those lofts really strengthen off here. Yeah, that was a nice hit. Yeah, lovely flight there. It feels like I've got a lot of control with that. A little bit extra carry there, struck that bit better. So that carried at 170 there. Uh, so probably what we're gonna maybe see here is a bit more of a sort of higher spin number. Say this tightness is lofted at uh, 34 degrees for a seven iron here. So very sort of true uh, or traditional on the lofts there. So maybe expect um, not, the, not the greatest of distance there, as we may be sort of seeing straight away there for, for a 7 iron there, but, well, for me anyway. And we'll probably see some, some consistent spin numbers, I'm guessing. So AP2, as you sit that down by the golf ball, it's a lovely shape. It's very sort of compact, I would say, from that heel to toe, so it's not a long length of, uh, of club blade here. Uh, top edge is sort of like a medium to sort of thin top line, tiny bit of offset there. So it's a very nice look and shape to it. Yeah, it feels lovely. You know, it's that forged head. It's that beautiful sound, beautiful sort of feel uh, that we see through or we hear through the actual impact area here. Now, obviously under the bonnet here, we don't see this, but there's quite a bit of tungsten in the head here. So this is helping with shifting a little bit of weight across the face here. Again, helping those miss hits, but obviously you still got that very sort of tour inspired look. That's a lovely strike. Nice contact there. Flight's lovely, nice and neutral. About 170 carry stopping pretty quick on that particular shot. Yeah, spun just over 6,000 there. Okay, so there's um, a few shots hit with that Titleist AP2. I'm gonna switch into the new 919 uh, JPX in the forged head here, and we'll hit some shots and check some numbers out a little bit more detail. Okay, so we've now got the uh, Mizuno 919 forged in here. So the forge sits in the middle of um, a family of three irons for Mizuno here. We've got the Tor, and maybe some of you are thinking maybe the Tor's a little bit more of an appropriate iron to put up against the AP2 there. But I think the tour's maybe a little bit more towards the tightly CB iron in terms of comparison. That just that's very, very small cavity at the back. So cavity size, I think, is similar between these two irons, which is why I put these uh, against each other. Yes, there is a little bit of a difference in loft. So the Mizuno is 32 degrees, tightly 34. So a little bit stronger on that 
loft in there with the Mizuno. So obviously we may just see that little bit more ball speed, possibly slightly lower spin, little bit more distance with the Mizuno against the tights, which you just have to take into account. Now putting that down with the golf ball, it's, it's again, it's a beautiful shape there um, for Mizuno. Definitely a slightly longer blade from heel to toe, definitely noticing that. Very similar on that offset to the Titleist and the top edge is quite similar, maybe a fraction thicker if anything. But let's get this first one hit. Okay. Yeah, so that wasn't the best of strikes there. A little bit low toe there, dropped 166 carry, just carrying short of that green there. So a little bit of a drop off of distance there. I must admit that wasn't the best of strikes to start with. That was a better strike. Yeah, a lovely flight there. Definitely a high ball flight. Again, that's right down that line. Yeah, that's a better shot there. So 172 carry, which is good. And spinning at, yeah, six and a half thousand. So straight away there, maybe a slight, slightly more spin than the tightest. Again, we'll look at those numbers in a little bit more detail in a minute. Yeah, not quite flush, but not bad to be honest. Interesting to see what that does. That does all right. So that's 171 carry. Um, as I say, didn't get all of that spinning at six eight. So we've seen a high spin number here with the with the Mizuno, which is quite interesting because obviously we've got to remember this two degrees stronger on the loss, which you would tend to think well that's actually going to spin the ball less. Um, so obviously some maybe CG placement around the head, just obviously different than maybe the tightest there. So um, maybe one of the reasons there why the loss have actually gone stronger. Okay, so there's, sometimes there's a reason. When, when companies are making these irons and they're designing them, obviously the CG placement is trying to hit the certain um, forgiveness level of the golf club, maybe uh, a, a particular sort of distance they want to hit it. But then they also got to remember if, if, if the loft is maybe at 34, for instance, in this club, that might actually flight that ball too high and maybe even spin it too much. So then they strengthen lofts off to try and get that flight back into the, the sort of the, the right area that maybe the seven iron sort of should be. Again, not absolutely flush there, but the flight is really nice. Again, around that 171 mark again, so quite consistent to that carry number there. Uh, that spun just under 6.3. So, right, I think the feel of that is beautiful. It's forged head, we're getting that similar sort of feel that we're sort of seeing maybe in AP2 there. Lovely feel, as we know from the Mizuno, you're gonna get that feel from their forged clubs. I'm definitely getting that. Looks is great, a little bit of bigger profile than AP2, but let's check some numbers out in a little bit more detail and see if there's any big differences between those two irons. Okay, so let's look at those two numbers. So AP2 and then the Mizuno underneath. So club bed speed, about one mile an hour quick with the, the Mizuno there. Didn't sort of feel that, but obviously that's what's actually happened there. So ball speed, two mile an hour quicker there. Maybe a little bit to do with that club bed speed there. Uh, obviously we've got that two degrees strong on the loft which will equate to a little bit of that. Touch low on the launch as we maybe expect to see with that slightly stronger loft there but nothing that's too low by any means. Uh, spin numbers are quite interesting here so we can see the uh, tightest there averaging at 6118 and the Mizuno 6725. Now that does surprise me, I thought that would be if anything the other way around with that two degrees strong on the loft there would expect maybe a slightly lower spin number but it's actually getting a higher spin number. So, little bit more ball speed, little bit more spin, and that's carrying out at 170. Titleist, uh, less ball speed, less spin, is carrying out at 169. So the carry distance is very much identical, yet they're getting, in that, they're getting to that distance in a very different manner. Okay, and this is the thing here. So I would say control-wise, Mizuno wins. You know, that coming into land spin at 6.7, I know that's going to stop. I'm going to get a lot of control there. Given certain situations out on that golf course, that would be very, very appealing. Um, in terms of the ball speed, a little bit more Mizuno. Again, great. You know, so I think the Mizuno at the moment is edging it with that extra ball speed, a little bit more of that spin number there, and that ultimate control, but still that little bit of distance. 
Okay, so there we have it guys, AP2 uh, from Titus against the new 919 forged iron from Mizuno. So, as I say, these irons up for me are in that similar sort of bracket here for the golfer who wants that forged feel, that nice look shaping, but they want that bit of forgiveness and maybe a little bit of s s sort of power behind that golf ball. These, I think, are, are slot slotting into that sort of category really. But I would say two quite different looking irons, so definitely JPX slightly bigger on that profile there. Uh, maybe as the JPX range uh, is, is a much more aimed down their forgiveness route as opposed to the MP range that Mizuno do. Um, but still get that forged feel, a little bit of forgiveness there. Lost a slight difference, but actually it hasn't translated into sort of numbers that I would sort of expect really with that two degrees strong. The lofts are quite interesting there. But I love that control of the Mizuno there. Um, Tightly is beautiful, it feels great, looks great, and the numbers are pretty good to be honest. Um, but I think just on that particular test, bear in mind I've only hit four shots with each there, so it is a little sample. If you're getting fitted, you're going to hit a lot more shots, sample a lot more different shaft options, loft, uh, lies, and everything like that. So obviously through a fitting process, you're going to delve a lot deeper into this. But this is just going to give you a little bit of an idea here, maybe of my thoughts between these two sort of irons. So let me know your thoughts on this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, um, obviously share the video around. But if you've got any questions on these two irons, uh, this particular test here obviously fire them in the comment section down below give me some ideas and maybe videos that you'd like me to try and see i'll try and do as many as i can that you guys want to sort of view as i said before if you haven't subscribed please do so I'm very much appreciate let's keep supporting the channel hopefully keep it growing i can produce more content for you guys thanks so much for watching always appreciate it and hopefully catch up with you all very soon